Stop memorizing hundreds of lead code problems and instead focus on the patterns to help you ace any interview. Today we're looking at backtracking. Use this for combinatorial problems such as combinations, permutations, and subsets. Use this when you have constraint satisfaction such as solving Sudoku or N Queens. And finally, when you need to prune paths using specific constraints. Let's take a look at Sudoku as an example. In Sudoku, there's no way to know the final solution other than guessing and checking. So we use backtrack to just guess and then verify at the end to validate our solution. Another example is trying to find all combinations of 2, 3, and 6 such that they sum up to 4. The reason why this is tricky is because you could take an infinite amount of each number. We need to use backtracking in order to prune specific branches. We start by taking nothing, then by 2 and 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, so we're good and we have a solution. However, when we try to take 2 and 3, we result in a sum of 5, which is greater than 4. Is there any reason we should explore beyond that? No. So we actually prune the branch and we stop searching. Next, we try to take 6. 2 plus 6 is 8, so there's no reason to go further since we're greater than the sum. Next, we go all the way back up and we take 3. 3 is less than 4, so we could take another element. We try to take another 3. In this case, 3 plus 3 is 6, which is greater than 4, so we prune the branch. 3 plus 6 is 9, which is greater than 4, so we prune it. And likewise, the final element is 6, which is greater than 4, so we prune all of these branches, resulting in a more efficient algorithm. If you'd like to learn every single lead code pattern that you absolutely need to know for all your tech interviews with coding templates and lead code questions to solve, be sure to check out my blog at blog.codeinmotion.io. If you'd like to see the Blind75 list in animated format, be sure to check out my YouTube channel.